My name is Kimberly Miller, and I'm in my studio right now in Arrington, here on Vancouver Island, and I work exclusively in watercolor. The person who's influenced me most as an artist was my grandmother, uh, my maternal grandmother. Uh, she was a farm lady with an incredible sense of design and had no formal training, but was a beautiful artist. And, and she had very few materials at hand and had never taken a class. And, and I was the eldest of all of the grandchildren. So I got to spend the most time with her. And, and we, we made art together. We made art with very simple things. And, and that was a huge influence on me because I, I even still use very, very simple materials and, and very, very few brushes and, and very little paint. And I, I learned to observe from her and, and to use what you have and be very creative with it. Uh, so that was a huge influence on me. The subject matter and, and the, the approach that, that has most influenced me is um, being immersed in nature. Where I live is right in the middle of nature. I spend a lot of time outdoors. Um, I usually paint outdoors, uh, not necessarily painting plain air in a live subject matter, but, but sitting outside and painting outside. And, and all of that influences everything that I do, the relationship that we have with nature, whether we're observers at the moment or whether we're actively participating, um, in different ways that we express the fact that we are all part of this big system. And, and what does that mean to us? That, that, that permeates everything that I do, whether it be a landscape or a floral or, or flora or fauna or, or even still life. Um, that, that's the thread that carries through everything. This piece is called Souvenir de l'été, which is a memory of the summer. And it is um, quite a, a dynamic and bright, bold um, still life of sunflowers on a, a French tablecloth. And, and it's a, a memory that I think we all have, even if we've never been to France or if, if we've, we've never experienced that, that exact country setting that we have in our imagination, but it's something that we all understand and the feeling that we get at the end of summer when the light is, is uh, quite bold and intense and the shadows are long. And we have that sense of, you know, nostalgia for, you know, the summer that's gone. And yet we have these beautiful flowers and the sunflower to me is the, the, the ultimate expression of joy and happiness and they follow the sun. They, uh, they don't just sit and wait for the sun to come to them. They actively move throughout the day and follow it. And I think that's a really positive metaphor and, uh, you know, something that, that we can all embrace. And, and seeing sunflowers is, is something that I think universally creates happiness. And I think that's what came across in, in this particular painting during a time that's, you know, quite difficult and negative. Seeing a bright, bold sunflower like that, I think really gave people a lift. I, I was sitting and drinking my tea and I heard my name and I, I was quite shocked and amazed and just wonderful. It was just a really wonderful thing to, to know that that, that painting uh, had such a positive effect on people and, and that's really rewarding in itself. I would love to be at this in the south of France. I would love to, to be in that, that simple um, rural lifestyle and the, with the beautiful warm light and the medieval villages and experience of art in, in a place like that. Uh, and it, it's a feeling, I think it's a feeling that, that everybody yearns for that, that and it, it, go, it has to do with sunshine and warmth, particularly in the winter when, when we're cold and down. But uh, that's something that really appeals to me. And I hope to eventually have the opportunity to do that. Uh, but in the meantime, um, we have, we have really tried to figure out what it is about that that we yearn for and what inspires us and what makes us feel so much more creative and bring that here to where we live at home. The holding on and the letting go is um, it's a fishing painting 
and yet it's not a fishing painting. And it's a very quiet painting. It's very introspective. And uh, the colors are, are quite muted. The palette is quite controlled. And there's a lot of mist. And, and it's not bold. And, and there's something that I think, even if you don't, you don't fish, you understand about that. Because everybody has been to one of our local rivers or, or, or sat at the sea and had a, a real feeling of, of peace and connection. And there are several people that I know who do fish. And I always was puzzled why they would do that because that's just not something I would be interested in. But the more I talk to them about it, um, it has very little to do with fish at all. It's that connection that you have when you're literally immersed, you're immersed in the water, you're the only one there. Eventually, even the birds forget that you're not really belonging and, and you become really, really part of something much bigger. And that line that the gentleman is casting, that's really, that's a line of connection. And I think, um, you know, the holding on is, you know, we want to hold on to, you know, believing that we are other, that we're outside of nature. And, and letting go of that makes us really come into who we really are in this world. And, and that, that painting makes me feel very peaceful when I look at it. It's actually the first uh, show that I have done that was completely online, both uh, exhibition-wise and while well, the peripheral events. And it was really wonderful to participate in the online reception with all of the other artists in attendance and, and have that reception captured for all of the people who couldn't be there. There's an element of accessibility that has come out of the virtual environment that is unfortunate because it's not the same as us being together. But on the other hand, there are so many people who can access the exhibition now that couldn't before. They can literally walk down the halls of, of the show and, and view the, the, the artwork. Um, people who don't live anywhere near the area and people who may who can't get out easily. Um, so that was really exciting for me. And I, and I think that necessity is the mother of invention. And, and this is perhaps uh, a tool that was just waiting to be utilized. And, and it's, it's just forced us to speed it up a little bit. So I, I hope that going forward, the virtual environment will, will always have some be some element of, of what we do exhibition wise it, because there are wonderful, wonderful advantages to to having it wide open to the world.